People, we did it. 2020, it's in the rear view mirror. It's 2021, officially. Week 17 of the NFL season, officially. There is not a week 18, 19, 20, anything in the horizon. COVID did not, did not completely derail the NFL season. And for that, I, and I'm sure you, are thankful. We are here, back, whiteboard, MVP race. We know, again, we've known for three, four weeks now that it's been a two-horse race, but I like giving shout-outs to three, four, five, talk about them a little bit because we have some guys having some impressive years. Just in case you forgot, this is who I had last week. That's what I got this week. Probably going to be the same guys next week. So now that we know who, we ha who I had last week, let's see what I have. Let's see what Vegas has. Let's see where we differ, where we agree. And well, just like that, let's get started with number five. I got Elvin Kamara. Vegas here, Vegas has uh, a tie, three-way tie. They have Devontae Adams, Russell Wilson, Ryan Tannehill, out, all at plus 10,000. Now, I love seeing Devontae Adams, you know, creep his way up. Um, Wilson, mighty has fallen. Tannehill did not have a good game against Green Bay. I feel like Alvin Kamara should at least be in here somewhere, but he's not. But I got Alvin Kamara. Now, uh, one of my earliest additions of the MVP race, maybe like week eight or nine or seven or six, I don't know, I had Alvin Kamara in there, in there because at that time, Drew Brees was out, uh, and he was, or Michael Thomas was out, and he was pretty much the focal point of the offense. He was the only one making plays, so I had him in there, he fell off. Um, but then he came back. He came back on Christmas Day with a vengeance. Dude had six touchdowns. That is an NFL record. Six rushing touchdowns. NFL record. Alvin Kamara. He wore a red shoe, uh, a green shoe, Christmas cleats. He's getting fined for that, but he's in my MVP race. Why? Why he's here and why he should be there. I got to throw out respect to this season. Doesn't have 1,000 yards. 950 some odd yards rushing. Got another 750 receiving. 16 rushing touchdowns. Five receiving touchdowns. Almost 100 receptions. Dude's got 1,700 yards from scrimmage, 21 total touchdowns, almost 100 receptions. He needs to be in here because you take that totality, he's probably having the best running back season of anyone. So for me, that's why he's my number five. Give the running back some love. Love Kamara. Uh, he's a playmaker and 25 years old. I'm not sure if he got paid yet, but if he did not, he's going to get paid by someone, even if it's not the Saints. That being said, let's go to number four. There's no disagreeing for me in Vegas. It's the king. It's King Henry. I got him at number four. They got him with the fourth best odds. FanDuel again, plus 7,500, which not good odds at all. He's not going to win the MVP, but he's in the list. He's on the list. What can I say? Derrick Henry's been a staple in this list for three, four weeks. Um, what I just said about Alvin Kamara, I mean, you factor in the receiving and such. He's probably having a better year than Derrick Henry. Uh, Derrick Henry... Green Bay, they played in the Elements Saturday night, so Derrick Henry had 100 yards or just under 100 yards, like 97, something like that. I don't think he, he didn't have a touchdown, um, so he got tripped up, snow, tough sledding. Uh, it was tough for him to get going, but he's still here. He's going to put together a great season. I feel like by the end of this season, uh, he's going to be in the top 10 all time in like a single season rushing yards. Uh, he's going to end up in the top 10 there. So great season for him. Keep it rolling. Again, the focal point when you're playing the Tennessee Titans, your defensive coordinator, you're thinking, I need to stop Derrick Henry, not Ryan Tannehill. It's Henry first, Tannehill second. That's why he's here. Good team. That's why he's number four for me. And Vegas, number three. Here we go. It's that dude from Buffalo, Josh Allen, easily, quickly turning into one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. It's one season. I'm going to need to see him do it more. But damn it, the way he's played in the games I've seen of Josh Allen, he's going to continue to do it. He's going to be one of the best for a long time. Um, Vegas has him plus 1,200. Pretty sure the odds were exactly the same last week or pretty close. I told you last week, outside bet might not be terrible. Not great odds, but there was still a chance. With one week left to go, plus 1,200 is no longer good odds. He, I mean, he's going to play, but there's nothing that he can do uh, with this last week. or There's nothing that the next two guys can do to, to lose it, uh, to lose enough ground for him to win it. So at this point, these three guys, or these five guys, I don't know why you could still bet on them, but it's just you're just going to lose money. Again, if you want to lose money, you want to spend money on something that's not going to give you a return, like a monetary return, but might make you feel good, you can go to... You know, one of the links down below and buy some merch. Other than that, I wouldn't spend it here. 
is what it is. Josh Allen, great season. Had another good game on Monday night against the Patriots. Uh, but just, you know, too little too late for me. And that string midseason, that kind of took him out of it. That, you know, is what it is. But great year nonetheless. Bills fans should be happy. Number two. So for time's sake, I'm just going to reveal one and two. Me and Vegas, again, agree. Mahomes, two. Rodgers, one. Uh, the odds, Patrick Mahomes, plus 380. Aaron Rodgers, minus 480. Uh, so from here, from a betting perspective, I'm going to go betting perspective. Uh, well, actually, I'm just going to talk about last week. So Mahomes last week, they played the Falcons. The Chiefs played the Falcons. And just a 1 o'clock game. And they had to, Young Hoku had to miss a game-tying field goal for them to get that win. It was 17-14, so the offense wasn't high-powered. Mahomes, second straight week, where he's floating around like 52, 53% completion percentage, throws another pick. Uh, I'm pretty sure his last four games, he has four picks. Um, or five picks, I, I don't even know. But Mahomes, just down the stretch, slid a little bit, still playing very, very well, but slid a little bit, had way too much trouble for the Falcons. And then, like I said last week, you had primetime game, Aaron Rodgers, Saturday night football, in the snow, in the snow, so going in, you figure, okay, they're probably going to run the ball, and the Packers did that very effectively, but this dude also threw for four touchdowns. He did have one bad interception, great play by Malcolm Butler, but four touchdowns gives him 44 on the year. His career high for a season is 45, only has five interceptions, out of control. Um, if you remember, and we'll take the betting, now we'll go to the betting perspective, so at this point, the Chiefs may rest Patrick Mahomes. They have the one seed locked up. They're not playing for anything. Um, so there's a good chance you don't see Patrick Mahomes. There's also a chance that you might. Maybe Andy Reid's keeping it close to the vest. He said some players may rest. He did not say Patrick Mahomes specifically as of recording in this video. But he's at plus 380. So obviously at this point, out of these two, if you're going to throw money at someone, um, there's still a chance that the voters can go at Mahomes because he is the best player and the Chiefs are the best team. That could get him some votes, and that could potentially win it. Uh, if he doesn't play, Aaron Rodgers is going to have need to have a terrible game against Chicago. Aaron Rodgers, historically, does very, very well at Soldier Field. There will be memes rolling around who owns the Chicago Bears. Aaron Rodgers, with the, you know, that, that's a meme that goes wrong because at Soldier Field, this dude, he might as well be the Bears quarterback. If he played for the Bears, he'd already have 600 touchdowns in his career. Dude lights it up in the Windy City. Don't know what it is. That's who they're playing. Big game. They're trying to get the one seed. So he's playing, and he's going to try to ball out. And he's been balling out all year. So, but minus 480, I mean, I mean, that's a lot. You got to bet 480 bucks to win 100. Not great odds. So if you're going to throw money on, I'd throw Mahomes. But whereas last week I said this, if you're looking to put a bet on anyone, he would be my number one, he'd be my number two. I'd stay away from him altogether. I do not think that's the case this week because again, he might not play. And I don't think there's anything that he could do. He would need to have five touchdowns, play, have five touchdowns, no picks, throw for 300. He'd need to have a terrible game, like a, like a Tampa Bay Bucks game for Mahomes to steal the MVP now. I think it's surefire, as close to a surefire thing as um, as it can be right now going into the last week. I told you last, I said last week that I don't understand why the odds, they pretty much flipped odds. I think Mahomes last week was minus 450, Rodgers was plus 400 or minus 350. I thought those odds were way too, the discrepancy was way too large. I think this is more right this week. This is These are closer odds to what they should be this week. But last week I did not think it was that far off. So um, if you did take my advice, if you watched this, took my advice, and got Rodgers at plus 400, good for you. Good for you because, I mean, you bet 100 bucks, you're winning 400. And it was it was great odds. It was great odds going into last week with what he has left. He had a prime time game. He wasn't playing anyone. They have everything locked up. He might not play both. So if you bet Aaron Rodgers last week at plus 400, good on you. Good on you. It was a great bet. Opportunity was there. You took it. I love it. This will be the last week. I mean, this is going to be the last week, I think. I, I will recap when the NFL actually names the MVP, but I think this is it. Unless something dramatically historic happens or something catastrophic happens to Rodgers and he throws 18 interceptions or Mahomes plays and balls out, this will probably be the last MVP race because this is, this is what it is. I think this is, this ain't changing. 
He's going to win it. He's going to win it. He's going to finish second. He's going to finish third. That's how it's going to be. So, hope you enjoyed the MVP series. Hope this one ended up under 10 minutes. I don't know. I started rambling there. Appreciate you. If you're still here, subscribe. Check out some of the other content floating around here. And we'll see you in one of the next ones. Peace.